<laughs> that's right, that's right. Too many fuddy duddies at the RTR. That's right, the Sasnak is a little delayed here from RV Joey, but uh, we're getting her just now getting her Thanksgiving Day videos there. This must have been right after the uh, van build there in Parker, Arizona, right? This was before the um, RTR, obviously. Yeah, which we're not allowed to say because the line screw says uh, CRV will, sh will um, sue us. But anyway, uh, you know, RV Joey's been cranking out a couple videos here. She takes long breaks, and then we get a couple more mysterious videos from her. And uh, it looks like she's out at one of the campgrounds there uh, near Parker back when the van build had finished up. And she looks good. Everything looks good. She's hanging out with some friends there and having a good time. Right? Yeah, I don't know what Steve is. But I am finding a lot of cool stuff. And this is something that I'm going to tell her she needs. You need this. You need to buy one of these. Okay. What is this? This is one of those bed oh, mosquito net. Yeah. But what, what you use it for is when, like, I use it more in the afternoons because you're laying on the couch. I have a little hook up there, and I hook it. And I'll show you guys. I'll take a little picture. Because, you know, when you let the door open and the flies and there might be mosquitoes, and, but you're just exhausted and that one... All right, don't leave those doors open. You know, you're going to get people that are going to come in and say nasty things. You don't want that. All right, uh, some stuff I've been subbed to. Uh, Bama Mike checks out uh, some uh, tornado, a devastating tornado. Uh, Van Sheldon... Van I can never get this one right. Van Life Sheldon's Travels uh, checks out what caused that kind of hubbub at the Schooly Palooza the other night that they covered. And uh, just got a bunch of people partying. Pretty much that's all. It always sounds worse than it is. <laughs> oh, Demonic Abyss. Demonic's back. That's right. He's back. Has he repopulated his channel? Talking about Mr. Stingray there. Let's see. All right. He took some time off. Some folks said he uh, kind of got catfished there in Ohio, and uh, he kind of uh, didn't feel well when he came back from that, and then he uh, took his videos down. They're all back up again. They're all back out of private mode, and uh, Stingray's the topic of the day. Our, our good buddy down there in the Richmond, Virginia area. Oh, yeah. Likes to hike. A bunch of videos from Elvis here, I guess, checking out some... Uh, Alternatives to the Lisa Marie, if he ever gets the money right. Destination Storm, Vanessa, the lovely lady that took me to Disney two weeks ago. She's now at Disney World. She's now at Disneyland doing checking out some stuff. A good video from uh, um, Adam the Woo yesterday. Um, Adam is trying to be like kind of like Tim Tracker, but on the West Coast. Tim Tracker is the guy that hangs out at Disney, the properties in Orlando, and all the other stuff, the Universals and stuff, where he does a lot of uh, videos about uh, all the upgrades and different things. And it's a very good channel if you're like going to plan a vacation there, you've got kids, you want to know what's going on. Well, Adam's kind of doing the same thing for Disneyland on the West Coast, and he did a very good video yesterday about all the upgrades and, and changes, and there's quite a lot of them. The one thing you do have to realize about the Disney parks is how many, how they're continuously upgrading them, constantly. It's, uh, you know, never going to end, and the big Star Wars thing's supposed to be opening up, I guess, this summer. Um, Arthur, Arthur does a really good channel called Hollywood Graveyard. If you want to uh, submit him videos of your own personal favorite cemetery uh he's welcome to take that he's he's looking to expand his audience he's grown his channel really well uh, really cool guy i highly recommend it very 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 well produced videos there uh, Hollywood Graveyard, and uh, I was checking out a, a new channel here for, to me anyway, Mike Evans. Uh, this guy's pretty interesting. I was watching some stuff from him the other day. Uh, again, I'm exp I am I am latching on to people uh, that are um, that went to the RTR and checking them out. And I this guy I didn't check out during the RTR, but now afterward, Mike Evans Nomadic I am Aspirations. Now just jumped on the highway, full tank of gas, made my last sale on some of my crafts today, and now I'm home free. And I'll tell you what, big tent starts today, and Quartzsite is packed. That place is traffic, 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 people on foot everywhere. I 
Today's a good day to leave. It was pretty, pretty crazy there. Mike but, tells us that he doesn't like big crowds. He's not a person that likes to socialize a lot. He kind of likes being on the road by himself. And uh, interesting guy, interesting guy. I am going to put him on the uh, list and see uh, if we get any, probably not a lot of drama from him, but he looks like a really cool guy. Uh, anyway, some nice stuff there. I'm checking back there from, uh, from, the, uh, from his experiences there at the RTR. So check him out. My new channel of the day, at least new to me, Mike Evans Nomadic Aspirations. And there's a detailed card. It says, card, we don't even have electric. They had no lights, everything was up candles on the tables. They didn't have electric. And they says, well, we ain't got any money, we've only got four pounds. He says, well, that'll have to do then, won't it? Give me four quid. So they got a drink each. He says, what are you having? I says, oh, I'll have a pint of that X more, please. And he thought I was with them. So the four pounds was for them two and me. I says, no, I'm not with them, and I had money. He says, oh, just have it, just have it, I don't care. All right, uh, Dan there from uh, Travel Trolls uh, TV there, our favorite, uh, I guess he's become our favorite British, British uh, explorer slash hiker slash RVer. He usually travels around in an RV and has some fun with his wife. Uh, she's taking care of her dad. He's raising some money for her dad who needs, you know, needs some health care, etc., etc. So he's hiking the entire width of the uh, Great Britain, okay, all the way from the south, Cornwall. He's in a little town called Exmoor. I think he's eventually going to go up to Scotland, whenever that'll be. Through the winter time, it's kind of chilly and rainy, and he runs into the strangest pub he's ever seen there in a little town called Exmoor. And, uh, and uh, yeah, there's, there's no electricity. It's a candlelight. They are not making food. <laughs> the guy just, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. The, the pub master is kind of very eccentric. And uh, anyway, so check it out. Good stuff from Travel Trolls TV. All right, folks, that ought to do it for today. Thank you very much for, my, for watching my show. Don't forget, uh, I'm almost at 8,000 subscribers. Once I get over the 8,000 mark, I don't know when that'll be, later this week, next week, I don't know. Uh, I will be giving away a Cabela's gift card worth $50. That's right, 50 big dollars. Uh, so if you want to enter the contest, drop me an email at camodavidgmx.com and just put 8K or 8,000 on the subject line. And uh, when I'm a little bit over 8,000, I know I'm over 8,000, uh, I will... Uh, Close my eyes, spin through the list of entries, and pick somebody to win the eight uh, the eight thousand dollar the the fifty dollar gift card. Yeah, and by the way, if there's you know the Cabela's aren't all over the place. You know, if you're in an area where there isn't a Cabela's, you can always go online and order your uh, merchandise there. Okay, so you know. It's so, yeah. But anyway, Cabela's gift card, they have a lot of hiking, hunting, outdoorsy type stuff. It's like REI. It's kind of like that. You know, it's like a big sporting goods store, and they have a lot of cool stuff. So, all right. So that's that's the 8,000 subscriber giveaway. All right. All right, folks. That ought to do. If you want a sticker, I still got a whole lot of stickers. If you want a Camo Dave sticker, uh, send, uh, send me a self-addressed stamped envelope to the address that I'll be posting below in the comments, okay? That's all you gotta do. You don't need to send me any money, although if you wanna stuff a few bucks of cash in there, I'm not gonna argue with you. <laughs> send me money! Send me money! All right, folks, that ought to do it for today. What's today? The 22nd of January, 2019. Y'all have a great one. Vlog 